Hey there folks, my name is T-Buck Fishing and today we've got the Mystery Tackle Box Reserve Crate. Big bitch. Alright, let's open it up. This thing weighs about as heavy as it looks. You know, nice thick wood. The gentleman at Dick's Sporting Goods asked me if he, I needed to have him take it up to the front while I shop. I said, no feller, I got her. Let's get this. This is probably the worst, dullest scissors I've ever had. Probably gonna cut myself. All right. There's a top, nice quality crate. I'm telling you right now. Then there's a box inside of a box. Look at that. Open that thingy up. Ooh. 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 And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop this on the ground and we're gonna go bait by bait. It says there's supposed to be 32 to 40 baits valued at 265 bucks. Hope it really is. Hope it's not a bunch of junk. All right, first bait we got is Lake Fork Trophy Lures. And we've got, I don't even know what these are called. I know exactly what they are though, and I was actually hoping that there was gonna be some. Um, what it is, it's like a Sanko, but it's got, so you, uh, I don't know, you can wacky or get things like that. Pretty unique. Let's give you the first one. Second, we've got a uh, Cashco sticker of a little little mean guy, a little, little tough little mug. <laughs> and next, we got the Justice Jig. It looks like it is a jig with a trailer with it. Let's read at it. And rattle rattle and chunk. Rattle cavity with included rattle. Love a good rattle cavity. Floating call laws for a stand-up presentation, so this thing's gonna sit and stand. Weighted edges on the cross for increased action. It's all about that increased action. And salt impregnated. That is a word. Salt impregnated. Get that, salt impregnated. Salt impregnated. <laughs> Bait number two, never even seen that before doesn't look as swell. All right, now we got the X-Zone. Got a little swim bait here and the purple shiner. We got these in a three and a half inch. Nice little trailers. I'll probably not throw them. I'll probably throw them in the back of the chatter bait. Maybe a, uh, a spinner bait. All right, then we got the little Dibble Secrets. Next, we're gonna really have some net bait. Dagger, four and a half inch, the big craw, and the June bug colors. Throw that Texas rig, Carolina rig. Little weight on there. Push it through some grass. See? All right. Now we got some Z Man Crustia Z's. Watermelon red. What even are these? Camera can get that. I don't even know what those are. Little crustacean things. Just throw them on a Ned head and give it head. A little two inch. All right, next we got Live Target Mullet. Love mullet for freshwater boxes, right? Four inch mullet, top water, Live Target. Little blade on the back, little, little single Colorado. I have to use that. All right, next we got some 10,000 fish Yoto worms in the 4.75 inch with a tickled tail green pumpkin. These are one of the best chatter bait or, uh, you know, click bait, dual click bait. I usually use a smaller one on there. 4.75, we can put it on a big old shaky head, big old EWG hook, extra wide gap. Good color, just large size. Next, we got something I'm very familiar with. We got the Bandito Bug and the Watermelon Frillake Guggen Baits. Got that four inch size. We already have about 13 packs of the same color, so nothing like another. All right, next we got Livingston Lures. We got the Tournament Series. We got a type of top water prop bait. And what? It's a what? What? Electronic bait fish sounds calls the fish to you. Mm. 
Yes, it makes bait fish sounds. There's a sound cycle, eight second repeating cycle, four sec sound, four sec silent. The citrus sparkle. Wow. All right, next we got a Weston. The Chatee is the bait fish, the four and three quarters. Those are pretty realistic. Pretty realistic for some bait fish out there. You know, looking like a, I don't know, mixture between a mullet and something. I don't even know what that looks like for bait fish. All right, next we got the Savage Gear. It's a 40 craw, looks exactly like a craw. Got those in a magic craw color, 4D. Four dimensional, savage gear, scented. Okay. On to the next. Next, we got a nice little square bill. We got a square bill. It's going to be the Janko fishing. CD squared. This is going to be in the gizzard shad color. This is actually a really nice little square bill. Definitely be throwing that from square bill season. Right. Next, we got the Lunker Hunt, Lunker Blade, a quarter ounce little blade bait here, a fire tiger. You can catch some big crappies on that. Little wallies, bants. All right, next we got the Ned Rig Pre-Rig Kit, ready to go, Green Pumpkin by Perfection Lures. They say just add water. Pop that off the bottom, little negative type thing. I mean, interesting little little tail to it. It's probably gonna sit on the bottom, just go like that. Current. Oh, nice for a little creek smallmouth. All right, next we got some Z Man Easy Tubes in the Canada Claw Four Inch, right there. Z Man, right there. Little tube, little smally tube. When I go back up north this fall. Catch some schmallies. Usually I like about a three and a quarter, but them fours are gonna get the big ones. All right, next is gonna be the Spro, the Bronze Shad Frog. Spooky, nasty. Glide, Glide Frog. Gamagatsu hooks. We'll, uh, see what's up with that we'll buy a frog there all right Kalen's we got some Kalen's tickle series they're like a little swim bait but have like little ticklers like a centipede you know human centipede best movie ever just kidding messed up centipede little paddle tail throw those on a Swim jig and catch something. All right, next we've got the Euro Tackle Make It Happen Meta Craw 2.4 inch in the Okeechobee color. Those pretty juicy on a little Ned rig. Little, little 16 ounce Ned or 112, whatever the weird sizes the Z Man Ned heads come in. I was going to be a little bit too big for the moving ones that I have, the 8th ounce, but Hero Tackle throws some good stuff out, usually, you know, more pan fish. All right, next we got the 10,000 Fish Headhunter, the little bluegill bait, pre-rigged. Got about seven of these, and I've never even thrown one. I'll go in the tackle box and maybe get looked at. All right. Next, we got some Spear Point EWG 3i 2 pack hooks. They've got the weird little, I don't even know what they call it. They call it the V grip, the vaginal grip. Just kidding. I don't know what that means. But the V grip, whatever. Never seen EWGs like that, but I, they could, I could see them holding baits a little bit better, like a cracking car or something like that. A little bit thinner wire than I usually run. Next, we got the Reflex by Sight Baits. We got a little swim jig, quarter ounce, and a chartreuse white. Nice, 
nice little jig there. See what happens. Put a little, uh, I don't know, a little saucy swimmer cut down on there, something like that. All right. Now we got the Coalition Baits. We got the Gold Retriever, big old golden shiners. Put that, I guess, on a big old weighted hook, four-out hook. Uh, actually, these are shad, my bad. They're not shiners. Or they're shiner shad, something like that. Gold Retriever. Yeah, I'm just assuming they're supposed to be a golden shiner. Is this a saltwater box? Nope. Bass tackle. I mean, yeah. When you're lazy and big. All right, next we got a cycle bait. A 10,000 fish cycle bait, three ace ounce. Cycle baits, black and blue, four out hook, put a Yoto worm on there. The cycle bait does compare to a spinner bait. The spinner baits run nice and, you know, like that. Cycle bait kind of goes like that. So it's gonna wiggle that ass, you know? So we'll see what happens. I've got about four of them. Haven't thrown a single one, probably should one of these days. The Zero Gravity Jig, Slow Fallen Jig. Lead free too. Environmentally friendly. Four rod hook, black nickel jig hook, compression skirt, put a little crack and crawl on the back there. What's the weight on this guy? Does it have a weight on there? It feels really light. So I think it's almost in a sense like, I don't want to say weightless, but it's pretty light for how big it is. Ever seen something like that? All right, next we got the Lucky Craft USA. We got a little deep dive, that's funny. They're the USA series made in Japan, silly, super silly. So this is the Gizzard Shad Floating. This is gonna dive five to six feet and it's two and a half inches. It's gonna be in, yeah, like Gizzard Shad color. So that's actually pretty juicy. That's a nice little crankbait. All right, let's, let's get her. Next, we got the Biospawn Rattle Bot. And the two and a half inch half ounce lipless crankbait. So these are pretty cool. They got rattles in them, all that stuff. This the magma color, which is actually nice because I think I only have one other and it's in like a crawl, like a lighter red color. So that magma, these are gonna work, you know, a little bit different than a lipless, but seem juicy. I've got to throw one I got. All right, another Livingston Lures, and it's electronic bait fish sounds. And then there's actually an app. Lure slash app tracks all catch data. Sammy app, S-A-M-I, Sammy, Sammy, whatever you want to call it. This little guy is considered one of the deeper ones. It's going to go six feet in depth. It's going to be in the river hitch color. You can see that little gold on the top, little blue the body, a little white around the bottom. I don't know about this electronic thing. We'll see. We'll see. Never used them, never heard about them. You know? Next, we got the Bagley Sunny B. We got another small crank. Made in Serbia. Slav. Slav is frick, boy. So yeah, this little guy, let's see if there's some backs on here. Three eighths ounce guy, six to seven feet. This is gonna be in a unannounced color. Maybe that's the sunny B, maybe that's the color, but I'm pretty sure that's the bait size. But uh, yeah, that looks fake. All right, next we got a Pad banger top water. This is gonna be a Spitfire 4.5 inch in a halo silver. It's a top water. It's like a, the head moves. I don't know. It's really hard to explain. It's got like a little water pushing build type thing there. Let's let's read it. The head banger Spitfire is a one versatile top water bait. The patent action lip at the front kicks off a ton of water during medium to fast retrieves. Perfect for dirtier water when you're trying to draw a fish up deeper. From deeper. 
in the dirty water. Okay. It also orchestrates the movement in the body, giving it superior swimming action at the slowest speeds, perfect for a more sub approach in calmer and clearer water. It's got BMC hooks, it says though, so you know they're pretty darn sharp. Alright, now we're gonna be getting to some baits that I'm very familiar with. Alright, here we got the Guggen Baits Junior Contender. Junior contender is going to be a soul swinking, sinking type of swim bait. Jointed swim bait and it gives her shad colors. This is one color I don't have. I use these come spring when the fish are lazy and they're big. Pretty good color. Good with baits. Never Google baits. Next, we got a white blooper. It's actually in the bone color. Got a couple of these. They work pretty good. Smallies, largies. Top Watsoner. All right, then we got a banger in the chartreuse black color. I probably have about nine of this exact same crankbait that I've gotten in all the Google boxes. So overall, I would say the uh, Mr. Tackle Box crate was uh, pretty underwhelming. I don't see myself using most of this. Maybe I'll have to try and use some of the, you know, more difficult baits, but I mean, let's divide this real quick. Stuff I'd actually use, stuff that seems okay. Rattlebot, banger, blooper, junior contender, cycle bait, this lucky craft, wizard shag color, reflex jig, Yodo worm. Bandito bug. And then the late fork, these weird little Sankos. Put them in the middle, they're gonna have a little bit more action. Um, yeah, otherwise, I mean, you see the majority of it is stuff. I mean, I like to diversify my portfolio, but, uh, yeah, for 200 bucks, I'm pretty, pretty disappointed, not going to lie. A lot of this stuff just looks like leftover stuff. Um, I mean, there's definitely a variation, but I don't know, pretty underwhelming. Um, not too thrilled with spending 200 bucks. Should have just, you know, spent the $200 and got stuff that I know that works or that I, uh, you know, have access to. Um, unfortunately, the uh, field and stream that I bought this from was in Louisiana, and I'm not in Louisiana, so I'm not going to drive 600 miles and return a $200 crate because it'd be $500 in gas. So, yeah, we'll just, I don't know, maybe I'll see a kid out fishing one day and say, hey kid, you want some stuff I never use, and just offload it on them, but uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. The Mr. Tackle Box crate, if you have $200, I would say spend it elsewhere. Um, not too thrilled, nothing too special. A lot of stuff I would never use. I don't even know. Like the mullet, the live target mullet. I mean, live target looks like they have some cool stuff, but I haven't heard too much good. But the mullet, I mean, mullet is a salt water. This is supposed to be a bass box. Not saying that, you know, mullet don't get into like the brackish water and stuff like that, you know, the mixture of salt and fresh, but I can't even imagine something biting on that. Maybe a striper or something like that. Or even like these big old shad tees. I mean, okay, maybe on a big old four rod or something like that. Weighted. I guess it's not the worst thing ever. Um, these on a net rig, the Euro tackles. Okay, maybe put that into the pile of use. The crusty, same kind of concept, almost the exact same thing as the. So maybe put that into the use. Um, the zero gravity jig. I just. Um, I mean, I know that these would work. I just have some. So I guess put that in the use pile. The hooks, I mean, they're three out hooks. You, you're fine. One thing I wish there was a little bit more of was some terminal tackle in here, you know? Um, you know, some more, some different hooks. Some weights, something like that. Some weighted hooks, anything like that. Um, 
I mean, these little net rig things, perfection lures, I guess you could probably catch something on those. So we can add that to the pile. You know, let's just go second over. I guess these big tubes, bigger than I usually use, usually about three and a quarter, these are four. So I guess you could put those in the use pile. These net bait, these daggers, I guess you could use. So I guess use pile. Um, this Justice jig, I'm gonna still go no. These, I could see these working really good up in north, like Midwest for uh, pipe. So they're like pretty similar to Golden Shiners and that's one of their main forges, especially in the lakes that I grew up fishing uh, up in Wisconsin. So I guess those not used down in Oklahoma, which they would probably be okay in Oklahoma. I just don't know how to use them. Um, but pike, I guess up north, the glide frog doesn't look anything special and I don't like really not a big fan of the color of that. The swim baits, I mean, they're nothing fancy. I'm a big fan of Guggen Saucy Swimmers. Those are the ones I've had the best luck on. Um, yeah, this guy right here, this top water. I see that, I see that we're gonna like a salt water thing, you know? And then these Livingston lures, these electronics, I just, I don't know. Some models just don't do it for me. Maybe I need to look more into them, that kind of thing. The Savage Gear, these realistic claws, I suppose put them on a Ned Rig or something like that. And they, I mean, they would probably do okay. Um, these Kalen's weird little centipede grub thing, paddle tail deals, I guess. I mean, I've used blade baits for walleyes and stuff up north in Wisconsin and, you know, Minnesota and stuff. Um, so I guess the little guy, I could probably work for something like that. Um, so, I mean... Let's put a pile of no, just straight up no. Livingston lures, I, I don't buy it. The baggies, no, underwhelmed. So I guess they added some more to the used pile, but I still think for oh, 200 bucks, what's this one? Oh yeah, a little CD2, I can, that's not super terrible. Yeah, I'd say for 200 bucks, so pretty underwhelming. I mean, you do get a lot of baits, and I can see the value here. It's just it's not valuable to me. Because, um, I mean, there's there's money here. I mean, I guarantee you, like, this crankbaits, I don't know, eight bucks. This pack of Z-Mans is probably four, you know, stuff like that. These Euros are probably six because of fancy packaging. Um, yeah, so, I mean, they're... And then, yeah, I know these junior contenders are pretty expensive. Um... 15 bucks usually so i mean there's definitely value here it's just for who and for what so yeah pretty underwhelmed